at brookeboothcoaching.com where I help people who are in mixed faith marriages in the contract that making some sawing noises. Hopefully, hear me fine. I'm going to talk about hierarchy and partnership and how that can impact a mixed faith marriage. So, hierarchy just kills intimacy and partnership fosters it. That's sort of the overall scheme that we're going to be approaching this topic with. So many marriages are built on a hierarchical model and it really does work for some people to a certain extent. And many feel comfortable because of the familiar. But it also has some drawbacks and one drawback may be that it can stymie the growth of intimacy. And he, when I talk about human connection here, hierarchy is a one up, one down type of a position in a marriage. So one spouse is above and one spouse is below. So someone in the relationship needs to ask permission or needs to get approval or somebody makes ultimate decisions. It's sort of the model of the buck stops here. And so advice may be given and received, but the ultimate decision is made by a single person and not jointly. So this would be in juxtaposition to a partnership. And that's where both decide jointly, they co-parent, co-lead, co-clean, co-everything, right? That would be more of a partnership where nobody is the final arbiter. Now I'm not talking that things have to be split 50-50, but nobody is making final decision. There is no final arbiter. There is no, the buck stops here. So partnership can be a lot harder in the short run. It really requires more communication, more openness, more self-knowledge, more boundaries. It's harder in the long run. In the long run, hierarchy is the reverse. It's often easier in the short run. The problem with why it's harder in the long run is because it often stunts development and fuels resentment. The biggest casualty from a hierarchical relationship is so changing to be open and vulnerable with someone who's not your equal partner. Yeah, there's just too much risk involved in that. So I have seen that many people in mixed faith marriages are sometimes moving from a hierarchical model to a partnership model. And there can be tension in that. There can be pushback, there can be confusion, there can be uncertainty in that. And I want to just talk about three things to consider to really help build partnership in marriage. And the first one is to choose to be a partner. You know, this partners create the dynamic of a hierarchy. And both partners create the dynamic of a partnership. So regardless of where you fall in the dynamic, choosing to be a partner is absolutely key. So write out what that would look like. What does it really look like if you were showing up as a partner? How are you already acting like a partner in what areas? How are you not? Get really clear on what's happening in your current marriage, where partnership is happening and where it's not. What does it look like to be a partner? And then, like I said, actively choose to be a partner. And then there are a few questions I think that are really important to consider that would be also helpful to write about. And wonder what are the consequences of a hierarchical relationship in five years, in 20 years? Really like, spell it out and explore that. And another question would be what are the consequences of a partnership based relationship in five years, in 20 years? I think it's really important to see the long-term ramifications because sometimes that makes the short-term work a little bit easier to do because of the motivation of the long-term benefits. Another really important question to ask yourself if you're not even sure which marriage dynamic you fall under is, that, is, is there room for two in this relationship? Do you often feel resentful? Do you feel like you need to ask for permission? And why? And really look at that. That can help you understand better where you even fall in this hierarchical versus partnership spectrum. So if you're in a mixed faith marriage and you want to create a more equal partnership, 
and you really need some help, let's talk. This is a lot of the work I do. It can be so uncomfortable to change these types of dynamics because of set patterns and because of comfort levels and because it's just familiar. But I also know in the long run, it can be hugely liberating and it can really create the foundation for a fantastic marriage and a fantastic mixed faith marriage. So if you're willing to embrace the discomfort in the short term for the long term benefit, let's talk and let's find out what's going on in your mixed faith marriage when it comes to partnership and hierarchy and see really what the dynamics are playing out for you and how it's impacting your mixed faith marriage. Reach out to me at brookeboothcoaching.com. I have a link there where you can get a free call with me. I know, amazing. You can talk about your mixed faith marriage, go through some exercises on where you are and where you want to be and create a tailored plan to get you there. All right, wishing you the best.